So I can't say that one person wants it more than the other. It's just, you know, it may be different times when, you know, mm. okay, I'm not that busy. I'm like, oh, well, I got to do the X, Y, and Z, and I got to be at the airport at 6 in the morning. Right. And, like, my wife is good for knowing I got a 6 a.m. flight, and I'm trying to get a little bit of sleep and wake me up at 3 in the morning like, hey, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Hey, I'm Kadeen Ellis. And I'm DeVal. And this is Couch Conversation. So DeVal and I have been together for almost 16 years and yeah. married for almost eight. And Ooh. we find ourselves debating about the same thing. So we figured we would open up a debate to other couples to see yeah. how they feel about these things. And we're going to bring the conversation to you. Thank you guys for joining us on this episode of Couch Conversation. I'm Kadeen Ellis. And I'm Deval Ellis. And today we're talking probably one of the most heavily debated marriage topics. And probably my least favorite. You want to tell me what it is? Set, no, intimacy. <laughs> <laughs> intimacy. We talk about sex. Intimacy. Which, <laughs> I mean, intimacy, intimacy is not always just about sex. You nervous because you stumbled just there. You know, it just gets me all like riled up talking about this kind of stuff, you know? I Listen, know. I think this is probably the most important topic we've discussed, mainly because it's so taboo. No one ever wants to talk about it. And I Absolutely. feel like if people talked about it before we got married, mm -hmm. we would have been better prepared. So Very true. I'm excited to talk about it. Absolutely. Tell our truths and yeah. you know, see about these couples telling their truths. So, so how has how has intimacy right in. been? That's, yeah. How's it been for you guys? I do stand-up comedy, so mm -hmm. I kind of joke about it on stage where I say, you know, the honeymoon's over. Just mm -hmm. as a joke. I mean, but every day it's still like a honeymoon, but it's just after five months and then you get married, then you start to learn each other. You're learning each other like we, we did. And then the real world sets in. Because right after we got married, left I left for a, a month. Later. I had to go to Australia okay. for three months. Mm. Wow. And so it was like immediately we were apart. Right. And you, you know. come back, you hot and heavy. Right, this is yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But see, our clock resets. Because every time he leaves, it's almost as if a new date. So. Mm -hmm. At that point, the intimacy, you know, you're high mm -hmm. and heavy again. And we have that privilege of being apart for a week or two or whatever. Right. But when you're together for long periods of time or whatever, life. Routine. And by the time, yeah. and we don't have kids, but we still, you know, you're dog tired. It's I'm tired. like, is it 9.30? Yeah. Yeah. It feels like yeah. 12. Yeah. And tired. It's like, <laughs> we, I mean, it's like, you know, and, and my wife works from home. And I'm so it's like my wife was home, I've been gone, Damn, but, you know, but then I'm, I'm, doing, I'm, like, I'm, doing, yeah, I'm doing what I do during the day and then I come home and I may have a show that night. My wife will get ready, we'll go to the show and I'm looking at my wife like, oh, you know, oh man, you know, I, I but think my wife is the most, all the yeah, oh, all the way there, about, oh yeah, wait till, oh yeah, so I'm like, 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 I'm you know what? Can I take a rain check? Like, yeah. you know, so, so that's I question. Got a yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that that is a place of of complacency. Because think about it: when you're dating, right, you still have stresses. If you're dating, you're an adult, you work. It seems like people make time for what's important to them when they're trying to court someone. Yeah. Then that's when you get important. someone, it's like, oh, huh, tomorrow. You'll be there. You know, like <laughs> you, you know? see that person every day now. Yeah. Before yeah. you didn't see the person every yeah. day, you would see them like every other day. I mean, some people do live together, but when mm. you don't live together, it's like, oh, I miss you. Yeah. I can't wait to see you, boo. I'll see you later. And, you, and, you, and, you're, plan, and you're planning that day. You're planning. You're planning. Yeah. And, yes. if you, and if you guys are already having sex, you're like, oh, yeah. I'm you picking up the You're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to wear my love, you know. Let me put on my granny yeah. pants because you're more comfortable than that song. That's the name that drum. Anybody in this relationship feel like they're not getting enough intimacy or sex? Does one person want it more than the other for you guys? For you guys? I think for myself, I want it more yeah. um, at times, but also at the same time, I try to be understanding. Mm -hmm. And even at times, you know, when I'm trying, not necessarily force on her, but you know, she's like, all right, I'm ready, you know, we right. can, you know, do I whatever. Like, but well, then, I want it every day, but and I'm then, tired. Yeah, and then, I'm like, I, in your mind, you want it every yeah, day. Yeah, I want it yeah. every day, but I'm just exhausted, I'm just tired. And then, There's you a lot know, going on. When I feel like, 
I'm not necessarily forcing this situation, but you know, you know, trying to make it happen, I start right. to feel bad as well because you know my feelings start to kick in as yeah, well. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I know you're yeah. tired, and you know yeah. right. we yeah. can do this another day. We yeah. can reboot, start right. again tomorrow. Yeah. It's right. fine. You know what I'm saying? But then it, does it become a cycle where it's like, all right, then it's another day. Oh, it's another day, mm -hmm. and before you know it, yeah. you feel yeah. like your feelings are not taken into consideration. Uh, does that ever happen? No, not necessarily because no. well, uh, well, she definitely tries to make a point to actually, you know, engage and mm -hmm. things of that nature, especially if she knows, you know, I've been trying to egg her on for a couple of days now. She's right. like, all right, but wait till this weekend. I got you. <laughs> you know, she'll send me that random text at work. Oh, you better the be ready. Then, you know. That's your favorite. That's your favorite. That's how about you guys? Is there one person that wants it more than the other? Is there like a tussle, a back and forth, a struggle? I think mean, it goes in. I think our time just is yeah, off. Yeah. Oh, well, now I gotta go to work. Now yeah, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, like, uh, but it's like in in our house, it's like that, like that, that sex, like it's just there. Like you know, you mm -hmm. constantly thinking about it. It's just like I said, it's just so many things going on. So I can't say that one person wants it more than the other. It's just you know. It may be different times when you know. Mm. Okay, I'm not that busy. I'm like, oh, well, I gotta do the X, Y, and Z, and I gotta be at the airport at mm. six in the morning. Right. And like, my wife is good for knowing I got a six a.m. flight, and I'm trying to get a little bit of sleep and wake me up at three in the morning. Like, hey, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> well, Sounds like somebody I know. Like, you know you just say, Wait. Before I go to work, I'm like, hey, boo. Oh, so you early you in the up? morning? Early yeah, because I get up early to go to work. So I'm like, you up? You want some cookies? <laughs> Is like, that the cold chocolate chip or oatmeal? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take them off. Please. Well, only really God. Please. Five minutes to spare. So. Five minutes works. Five minutes works. Also, for me, another thing is like, I had a baby and I feel like my body's not the same. So I think that's why he would want it more than I do. Because I'm like, wait, you know, I got to get myself right. You know, I got to wash up right and do this right because my hormones are all over the place. So I right. feel, and then my skin is. A little stretchy on this side. So it's more insecurities fast. built. So it's more right. insecurities, yeah. And then I also got a C-section. So it was like mm. that scar, it like got to me as well. So where yeah. I was like, right. Mm, right. So a lot wait, of adjustments. Wait, you rubbing the scar a little bit. Back up. Well, I could <laughs> tell you right now, ain't scar ain't never stopped no man. Exactly. 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 That's no exactly. scar, that's no exactly. stretch marks. Exactly. <laughs> Like, that was her issue. She, oh, she I has know. Those small stretch marks. Yeah. She was like, I don't want you to see. I was like, I'm not even looking at your stretch marks. <laughs> shut it up. Gosh. Shut it up. Right. For you. Yeah. That's like yeah. lines. That's like lines showing you where to go. Follow the map. Follow the map. I mean, that too, and then just the hormonal side of it. it, yeah. it, it for, I guess this question is for my ladies. Do you ever feel like your body is just not reacting the way you want it to react yes. when you yeah. need it to react? Yes. It's yeah. like Come in your on. mind, yeah. it's like, all right, in your mind, you're like, okay, it's about to go down. Like, this is mm -hmm. going to happen. Mm -hmm. And then it's just not happening, whether it be either lack of foreplay or maybe it's not happening the way you want it to happen. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you just don't want it. You're not yeah. in the mood. So or your you body even, sometimes your body even tells you, like, girl, just lay down. Mm -hmm. It ain't working right now for you. Mm -hmm. So well, it just know, happens. Like I know one of the things that happened with us, like men, we never want to admit that it's us. Like something's wrong with us. Mm -hmm. and, but it was like I knew something was wrong with me mm -hmm. because it, I just my body didn't feel right. And there were times when I'm just like my body wasn't reacting, wasn't responding. Like what is you know what's mm -hmm. what's wrong? Like what is wrong? Mm -hmm. And went to uh, get a checkup and found out I was type two diabetic. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Yeah. So you had health issues. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, but they were like, you know, we got it and you're still young enough to where everything can be reversed. How did that Actually, affect you? Not to cut you off, but did that make you feel oh, yeah. like, oh, yeah. is it me that he's yes. not yeah. I was like, yeah. he's throwing out all my best stuff. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. And, you know, yeah. we would talk about it. I'm like, you know, are we good? Or is, is something off? You know, I'm like, I know I gained some weight, but I promise I'm working on it. Yeah. 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 Oh, so yeah. you, you to, yeah, I started you thinking, yeah. you know, but it was like, I kept, I change? I kept telling her, you know, it's not you, it's not you. But as a man, you don't want to admit that you know something's right. wrong. You don't admit. You don't want to feel weak. Right, right. And you know when it, when found out what was going on, and then to actually have to tell her, mm -hmm. and you know not only tell her, but to tell her how I felt and what was going on in my head, and you know I felt like less of a man and this and that. And for my wife to look at me and say, "I got you," like mm -hmm. I got you, and that's one of the that's things cool. that okay. we. We were so hot and heavy in the beginning, mm -hmm. and Aww. everything was so just, you know, but I think that God used my health in a way to, to 
where I could show her that I love her in other ways. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't have to always be physical. Like, I, I, I love you. It's like, and it, and it taught me to really love my wife a lot more. And, mm. and, you know, like, I love her spirit. I love her, just her, her mm. soul. Just her heart is just beautiful. Like, I tell her, like, her smile like, is like my own little piece of sunshine. Like, like when she smiles, it makes my heart smile. Well, this so. boy trying to get some cookies right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. It's We're out of here. We need them. Like I said, it's been, it's, 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 been it's, been it's been reversed. It's been reversed. It's been reversed. It's been reversed. I'm off this weekend. <laughs> No, you're not. Man. <laughs> I, just I tell her all the time, don't start nothing if you ain't trying to have the situation. Is all I'm Yo, saying. Yo, listen. Because when I come right. chasing you around the house, That's don't be mad. Exactly. So, so exactly. It's, it's not just me, because she okay. sometimes makes me feel so like maybe. I'm crazy. And I, and I try to tell her the way that a man's body works. When that thing starts to get to that point, you don't, you can't just put it away. Mm -hmm.